Welcome back to my channel, Presentation Skills. My name is Mohammed. I'll be your instructor during this tutorial. I am so glad to have you with me on this channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to create a presentation on Venus and Earth's rotation around Sun. Without further ado, let's start this tutorial. To create this presentation, we need to insert an image of space onto our slide. Hence, we will go to Insert tab and then click on Pictures. Then we'll go to this device. I have already saved an image of space to my PC. Hence, we'll choose the image and then click on Insert. Now we'll click on Control X to move the image to the clipboard and then right click on the slide and go to Format Background. Here, go to this option picture or texture fill and then click on clipboard. This will add the image as a background to the slide. Now, we need to insert two orbits in our slide. Hence, we'll go to Auto Shape Gallery and choose the shape oval. And then, click on the slide. Now, we'll go to Shape Fill and remove the Shape Fill. And then we go to Shape Outline and give it a white color. And then again, go to Shape Outline and choose the style dashes. Now, we need to go to Size and Properties option in Format Shape. Go to Size drop-down and choose this option, Lock Aspect Ratio. Now we'll resize it. I will give it a height of 4 inches, and that will automatically resize the width of the shape to 4 inches. Now, I will click on this shape and make a duplicate copy of it by clicking on Ctrl D. Now I'll resize the second shape as well. I will go to the same option size and properties. I will give it a height of 6 inches that will simultaneously change its width as well to 6 inches. Now I will click on Ctrl A to select both the shapes. Then I will go to Alignments and I will make sure that we have chosen a line to slide option here. And then go to Alignments and click on Align Center and then click on Align Middle. This way the orbits will get aligned to the center of our slide. Now we need to insert the 3D models of Sun, Venus, and Earth onto our slide. Hence, we will go to Insert tab. And then we'll go to 3D Models, and then we'll click on Stock 3D Models. Now, we'll type Solar here, and then click on Enter. This will show the entire family of Solar System on this page. We need to choose Sun, Venus and Earth simultaneously, and then click on Insert. We'll click somewhere on the slide to unselect these objects. And then we'll choose Earth. And then we'll go to this Option Size and Properties in Format 3D Model. And we'll choose this option, Lock Aspect Ratio, then we'll give it a height of 1 inch, and that will simultaneously resize the width of Earth to 1 inch. Now, we'll drag and drop it here like this. And we'll activate the guides as well. And then we'll click on Venus. Then we'll go to Same Size and Properties option. And click on this option, Lock Aspect Ratio and we'll give it a height of 0.8 inches. That will automatically resize its width as well to 0.8 inches. Then we'll drag and drop it here like this. And then we'll click on Sun. And again, we'll go to this Option Size and Properties, and we'll click on this Option Lock Aspect Ratio. Then we'll give it a height of 2 inches, and it will automatically resize its width as well to 2 inches. And then we'll go to Alignments and we'll align the Sun to center. And then again, 
We'll go to alignment and we'll align the sun to middle of the slide. And now we need to rotate these 3D models to its top view. We'll choose all the three 3D models and go to this tab 3D model. And then we'll choose this option top view. It will turn all the 3D models towards top view. We'll be able to see the North Pole of Sun, Venus, and Earth simultaneously. Now we need to animate these 3D models. Hence, I will close this format 3D model option for now. And then I will choose Sun and go to Animation tab. And then I will apply this turntable animation to Sun. And then I'll open Animation Pane. Then I'll go to Animation Setting. And then I will go to Effect Options. I will remove Smooth Start and Smooth End here. Then I will go to Timing Option. And I'll make it start with Previous. Then I will give it a duration of 5 seconds. Then I'll make it repeat until end of slide. Then I click on OK. Then I will go to Effect Options and I will give it a direction of counterclockwise. Then I'll copy this animation to other two 3D models as well. That is Venus and Earth. Hence, I will choose Sun, and then I will go to Animation Painter, and I double-click on it, and then I will click on Venus first, and then I will click on Earth. So this will apply the same animation to both Venus and Earth as well. Then I will go back to Animation Painter and click on it once. Then we'll change the animation settings of Venus and Earth. I will go to the animation setting of Venus here. I will go to Timing Option and I will give it a duration of 3 seconds. And then I will click on Enter. And then I'll go to Effect Options and I will give it a direction of clockwise. Then I'll go to the animation of Earth settings. I will go to Effect Options. Then I will go to Timing Option, and I will give it a duration of 4 seconds, and then I'll click on Enter now. Our animation is complete. Now, if we go to Slide Show, we'll be able to see the beautiful rotation of Venus and Earth around Sun. Let us go to Slide Show and see how it's looking. It's looking extremely beautiful. So this is a scientific fact that Sun along with all other planets of solar system always rotates in the counterclockwise direction. However, the Venus always rotates in the clockwise direction. So this is a beautiful representation of that fact. And now we'll add two more animations to Venus and Earth, and that will complete this project. Hence we'll choose Venus first, and then we'll go to add animation. And here in Motion Path, We'll choose this animation, Shapes. And then we'll go to Effect Option, and we'll choose this option, Reverse Path Direction. And then we'll hold this rectangle and drag and drop it here. And then we'll hold these handles and drag and drop them at the end of the circle like this. And then we'll go to the Animation Settings. Go to Effect Option. Remove Smooth Start and Smooth End. Then go to Timing Option. Make it start with Previous. And give it a duration of 5 seconds. And make it repeat until end of slide. And then click on OK. And then choose Earth. And go to Add Animation. And in Motion Path, Choose this animation, Shapes. And then go to Effect Option. Choose this option, Reverse Path Direction. And then hold this rectangle and drag and drop it here like this. And then hold these handles and drag and drop them at the end of the circle like this. And then go to the Animation Settings. Go to Effect Options, Remove Smooth Start, and Smooth End. Then go to Timing Option, make it start with Previous, give it a duration of 6 seconds. And then make it repeat 
until end of slide and then click on OK. Congratulations, our animation is ready now. Let us go to Slideshow and see how it's looking. It's looking extremely beautiful. This is how you create the presentation on Venus and Earth's rotation around Sun. Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with as many friends of yours as possible so that they can also benefit from this tutorial. Do take very good care of yourself. By this, I'll be signing off. Thank you very much for watching this video.